Hey, what's up, geometry students? Um, let's go over this just insane looking triangle question. Um, what I have here is I have triangle A, B, C, uh, hit up with midpoints J, K, and L, and then I have a whole bunch of random algebra and lengths and all this stuff labeled. So remember the rules on medians when they meet at this centroid is the bigger part of the median equals two smalls. A big plus a small equals the median. And then if you have a total median, you divide it by three and set it equal to the small. So using all of these rules, we could probably figure out basically all of the lengths here. So um, I'm going to work my way from the inside out. Um, looks like I have LO is 16. So if this is 16, OB would be double that. So you would have to be 32, okay? Um, I have OK right here. It looks like it's X plus 3. If OK is X plus 3, this is the big guy. That would be double X plus 3. So that would be 2X plus 6. I have OC as 2Y plus 10, and that's the big guy. So if 2Y plus 10 is the big guy, you would chop that in half to make it the small guy. So right here, J-O would be a single Y plus a 5. Okay, so I think I have everything labeled in here. I don't have any of the variables yet. I'll solve those in a second. Um, but uh, I just wanted to get as much stuff filled out as possible. So that's the insides. Work our way around the outside. So it looks like on the top, ooh, it looks like we might have some algebra here. It says entirely from A to B is 8X but a to j is just 2x plus 8, so that means this over here is also going to be a 2x plus 8. Probably going to have some algebra there. We'll probably do that later. Um, looks like the entire length from b to c is 19, which means each of these bks and kcs would be half of 19. I think that's just 9.5, so yeah, you're 9.5 and you're 9.5. All right, let's keep working our way around. LC is X plus 9, which means AL would also be X plus 9. And that's about it. So now I can probably start doing some algebra to find the X and Y values. I'll start off with the AB and then the AJ and then there we go. So um, the total is 8x. Okay, so the whole thing equals 8x, and 8x is going to equal two of these 2x plus 8s. So basically it's going to be 2 times 2x plus 8. All right, so I'd probably solve this by distributing. I would have an 8x equals a 4x plus 16. So I'm going to do my algebra here, minus 16, minus 16. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do first. Slow down, brain. I wanted to go minus 4x. There we go. So the goose, I was getting ahead of myself there. 4x is going to equal 16. Running out of room. There we go. x equals 4. So we could probably use that to evaluate some expressions now. Okay, cool. x equals 4, huh? Okay, well, you're a 4. You're a 4. You are a 4. You are a 4. You are now a 4. And you are now a 4. So 4 plus 3 is 7. 2 times 4 plus 6, I believe, is 14. It should be. If the small guy is 7, the big guy should be double. Let's see, 4. I should probably put like a bracket in there, so I substituted. 4 plus 9 is 13. You're also going to be 13 because you guys are equal to each other. 2 times 4 plus 8. 2 times 4 plus 8, those are both going to be 16. So this length is 16. This length is 16, which means the entire thing is 32. All right. Now these aren't drawn to scale because you're probably like, wait a second, JB is 16 and OB is, yeah, that's not right. Yeah, I agree. They're not drawn to scale, so you kind of need to use a little bit of your imagination here. There is one item that's missing. I had to mention somewhere... Uh, a total here, so I think it's this. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that JC equals 5Y. There's really no, uh, no, no clean space to write that out in there, so I'm writing it on the side. Okay, so if JC equals 5Y, well, that equals the two parts, the small part and the big part. So I'm going to add those together. So 
let me do the math down here. Hopefully I have enough room. 5y is going to equal the y plus 5 and the 2y plus 10. You don't really need these brackets, but it's just trying to show you, hey, small guy plus big guy equals the total. So got to do a little bit of simplifying here. 5y is going to be a 3y plus a 15. Yeah, 5 plus 10, y plus 2y. Subtract the 3y from both sides. I'm going to skip a step just for space. I'm going to have a 2y left over, and that's going to equal a 15. So again, I subtract the 3y. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Super duper running out of space. y equals 7.5. All right, so now I can substitute 7.5 in for y. So 7.5 is going to go in there. 7.5 plus 15, I believe, is 12.5. So this length... Let me get rid of this little tick mark here. Go away. So this length is going to be 12.5. If you're 12.5, then you're twice as big since you're the big guy. So you would be 25. But just to be safe, if you go put a 7.5 right there, 2 times 7.5 plus 10 is 15 plus 10. So it's 25. So I think I have every single item label. Let me see here. This one is 14, this one is 16, this one's 25, this one's 7, this one's 32, this one's 12.5. There we go. I got all the inside parts labeled. You're 16, you're 16, you're 9.5, you're 9.5, you're 13, you're 13. Holy cow, uh, we have everything. Um, the only thing that, oh, and I guess the total is 32, the total is 19. I guess, yeah, you could say the total total down here from A to C. I'm going to mess this up bad. Here we go. Oh, that's not too bad. The total right there would be 26. There we go. Now, if I really wanted to make this disgusting, I could have also added mid-segment. So remember, mid-segments connect midpoint to midpoint. Okay, so that's a mid-segment. Well, mid-segments are just half of the line they're parallel to. JL would be 9.5, by the way, because these are 9.5. Um, if I made LK, ooh, I bend it a little bit, darn it, LK would be 16, because those are 16. And then if I were to do JK, oh, I'm going to totally mess this one up. Oh, that's not too bad. JK would be half of these dudes, or just equal those dudes, so this would be 13. So, ew, look at that thing, that'd be disgusting. The next thing to do would be to figure out how long, no, we're not doing that. So, all right, uh, that's all I got for this I think this is for lesson 21, this lesson 21 Uber question. I think I go over it in class, but here's a digital version of it just in case. So this is a little bit of everything that we've been talking about for a while now. But when it comes to medians and a lot of midpoint triangle stuff, well, wow, nice circle. When it comes to medians and a lot of midpoint triangle stuff, I still cut it off. Those are going to be your best friends. Big equals too small. A big plus a small equals a median. And then a median divided by three equals a small. Okay, cool. See you in class. Goodbye.